We've talked on this show last week about how there was a Dutch revolt amongst the farmers. A, uh, the, the farmers rebelled against all this climate change madness, getting nitrogen out of the soil and so on and so on. They had a huge win with a brand new party uh, called the Countryside Party or, or the, the equivalent thereof, the Farmers Party. Uh, I, I was interested by an article in the UK Telegraph uh, saying, is it time for a country party in Britain? And the idea being that the Tories in the same way that the Liberals here seem to have lost touch with basic working class, rural, regional people. What did you make of that suggestion that the Tories have lost touch with the, with the regions, with the masses, and that there is the need for some kind of conservative countryside party? Well, it, it would be nice if we could start with a conservative party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because we, we, don't, we don't seem to have that. I mean, anyone who read that article knows that, you know, farming in Britain is too far gone. They're not as proactive as the Dutch farmers because the Dutch farmers are the second best farmers in the world. They're the second most productive. Um, so you can understand their resistance to laws being made in, in Brussels that have effectively been transposed onto Dutch society without actually understanding the nature of, of, of Dutch farmers and, and what their work entails. Um, but it just goes to show, you know, one of the reasons for Brexit, um, it was just this complete disconnection between these bureaucrats and, and, and technocrats in Brussels and the local populations, there is really no form of true democracy because the, the disconnect is so huge. It's, a, it's effectively a, a chasm that you can't uh, cross. Uh, but in terms of the UK, I mean, that ship has long sailed. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Conservative Party in Britain. Bring back Maggie, I always say.